what's up everybody it's Gwen and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel so I know I've been gone for a little bit thanks for being patient with me but I am back with another video so in today's video I'm going to be talking about protein moisture balance so protein moisture balance has become a big part of my natural hair journey recently and so I wanted to make this video to tell you guys about what I've learned so far if you enjoy this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram at so naturally Gwen all right, let's get started. Protein moisture balance is having a balance of protein and moisture in your hair. So protein gives your hair strength and prevents breakage, whereas moisture helps keep your hair elastic so that your hair isn't dry and brittle. Protein moisture balance is important because if you don't have that balance, you can either get into protein overload or moisture overload. So protein overload makes your hair super dry, brittle, stiff, and it's more likely to break if it is like pulled in any way so it just makes it a lot more rough and if you have moisture overload it makes your hair really elastic and your curls don't have as much protection so your hair is just really over moisturized and it's less likely to have strength so your hair is more likely to break off so how do you know if you have protein moisture balance so the main way that i check for protein moisture balance in my hair is the wet strand test so basically you take a strand of your hair, it could be a shed hair or it can be hair that's still on your head and you run it under some lukewarm water. And then what you do is you take the strand of hair and you stretch it. So if you're stretching the strand, stretching, stretching, and then it snaps, you don't feel any strength to it or feel it pulling back, then you are more likely to have moisture overload and that means you just need some protein in your regimen. And if you are on the opposite end of the spectrum, so if you have protein overload or too much protein in your hair, your hair isn't gonna stretch very much. It will be stronger, but your hair is just not gonna have as much of a bounce to it. And so you want a perfect balance between the stretch as well as the strength of the strand. So that's pretty much how you find out if you are protein moisture balanced. So let's go into my protein moisture schedule. So my general rule of thumb is to focus on moisture. So I'll just use my protein free regimen and then um, I will add in protein as needed. And so because my hair is protein sensitive, I tend to only use products that just have some protein in the ingredients list. So there are some products out there that are protein treatments, but I tend to go for products that only have just some protein in the ingredients list. So let's talk about protein and moisture balance when it comes to your products. So the main way to know that your product has protein in it is if you find the words protein, amino acids, also sea kelp extract has protein in it. Also, if you use any like natural things, so if you use any of those Ayurvedic treatments or any other type of natural herb, especially if it's meant for strengthening the hair, it more than likely has protein in it. And then on the other end of the spectrum, if you are looking for something with moisture in it, you wanna look for humectants. So humectants are ingredients that help to bring moisture to the hair and popular humectants are honey, aloe, maple, and glycerin. So those are the four main ones that I look for if I'm looking for something with uh, moisture in it. When it comes to water, water is moisture. And I know I say that a lot on my channel. That's kind of hard to explain, but basically, Humectants are going to bring moisture to your hair for longer and they're just more moisturizing compared to water, if that makes sense. So I've noticed that using um, products with humectants in them rather than just focusing on water being in the ingredients list has really helped to increase the uh, moisture potential of my hair and I've noticed that I retain a lot more moisture in my hair. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the products that I use on my hair to maintain protein moisture balance. So I mainly, like I said, use products without any, pro any protein in them. And I'm actually going to be making a video of all the protein free products that I like. So um, be on the lookout for that video, but I'm gonna show you specifically like protein treatments and moisture treatments that I like to use on my hair, specifically deep conditioners. So I feel like deep conditioners are the best way for me to achieve protein moisture balance really quickly. So I don't have to worry about using a particular product. I can just add these to my hair and I know for sure that they will definitely give me protein or moisture in that period of time. So first starting with moisture, these are the two ones that have been sticking out to me lately. So the first one is the Novex Mystic Black Deep Hair Mask. So I've talked about this on my channel a lot recently. I got this from Target. And so I really like this product just because, like I said, it's straight moisture, 
This is what it looks like. I really like this stuff. You only have to leave it in for 10 minutes. So I like that I don't have to be sitting in the shower for forever and waste a bunch of water, more so than I already do. Um, but yes, yeah, so I really like this product. It's a number one seller in Brazil. But yeah, the Mystic Black line actually does have a lot of uh, protein-free products in it. So if you find the products in this line that have the black packaging, they all don't have protein in it. So I've really grown to like this, um, this, this product line, especially when I've been trying to find more deep conditioners that are just moisture. So yeah, I really like this product. And the second one I want to talk about is the Garnier Fructis Hydrating Hair Treat one minute hair mask. So this is a line of hair products that recently came out from Garnier. I've never used Garnier before in my life, but this line definitely caught my eye because it doesn't have any protein in it. And I really like how on the back it gives you a rundown of all the ingredients that are in the product and just kind of the source of them all. So I like how it's being really transparent about what's in the product and where it comes from. So yeah. This comes in multiple uh, formulas, so they all are moisturizing, but they all have a different like scent to them. So this is the aloe one. This is the one that I like so far. As you can see, this is completely empty. I'm probably gonna repurchase this. Um, be on the lookout for a natural hair empties video because I'm gonna show you guys what products I've used recently um, that are completely empty, and I'm gonna talk about my reviews on them. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I really like this product and I love how it can only be left on for one minute. So that's the biggest thing I think that I like about this line is that they only have to be left in for one minute and they do actually work. Um, I noticed that my hair is a lot silkier and smoother once the treatment is done. So I will admit, I probably leave it on for like a minute and a half to two minutes, but it really does work and it gives my hair a lot of moisture. It makes my hair super bouncy and I really like it. So those are the moisture treatments that I like to use on my hair. And let's move on to the protein treatments that I like to use on my hair. So this first one is the Curls Dynasty Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment Mask. Yeah, this is actually my second container of it. So I used up one, and so this is my second one. And I it was sitting in my uh, little collection unused for a second there just because I was trying so many new products at the time. And I decided to go back to products that my hair actually really liked. And so I decided to try this again and I fell in love with this again. So yeah, this has, this has keratin in it, which is the natural protein that is in hair. And it also has hydrolyzed wheat protein, which I really like. I've noticed that wheat protein makes my hair really strong, but um, this product also does have uh, humectants in it. So the first ingredient is aloe. So this does give my hair moisture, but also gives protein as well. So it gives my hair some strength. And yeah, so my hair just comes out super bouncy and my curls are really defined and a little goes a long way. It also smells really good. It smells so good, but it's like not fragrance. It's more like you can tell that this is the ingredients that just smell good. So yeah, I really like this protein treatment. And then if I were to go in with a real protein treatment, I would go in with this one. So this is the ORS hair mayonnaise. This is like my tried and true from my younger days, we used to use this all the time when I was growing up. This is something that's good for if I ever get moisture overload, it's good to just go in with whatever you need on the opposite end of the spectrum. So for example, if I had protein overload, I would go in with a moisture treatment and just keep doing that until my hair got back to balance. Whereas if I had moisture overload, I would go in with a protein treatment and just go, you know, until I am back to balance. Um, another thing you can do is if you are protein sensitive, but all you have is like a full blown protein treatment, you can go in with a moisture treatment right after. I'm lazy, so I don't like to do that. But what I will say is that your hair is less likely to become out of balance if you use a stronger treatment. So this is going to put you further towards moisture rather than a product that just has protein and moisturizing ingredients in it. Same with this. Um, I'm going to try to start using this again to see if my hair will last longer because I feel like now I'm using protein every once in a while, but it seems that my weeks are starting to get a little bit closer. I used to only need protein once a month and now I'm noticing it's like every other week. So I think my moisturizing skills are just at capacity and I need to start using some protein. So yeah, and you only have to leave this in, I think this one you do have to leave in for longer, 15 minutes. Yes, so this is 15 minutes. This one's 10 minutes, I think. Oh, okay. This is 15 to 20 minutes if you're under a dryer or 30 minutes 
if you're just in the shower. But I only use it for 15 minutes and it works. I just, 30 minutes is a long time for me, but I do notice the difference after 15 minutes. So I think you'll be fine if you just put a shower cap over it in the shower. Um, but yeah, so this is, these are 15 minutes. This one is 10 minutes and this one is one minute. So yeah, so those are the protein and moisture treatments that I like to use in my hair. All right, you guys, so that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed finding out how I achieve protein moisture balance in my natural hair. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram at so naturally Gwen. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.